Hey, do you want antibiotics? You take antibiotics when you have a cold? Yeah. And what about when you have a stomach flu? I take antibiotics. Two hours later. And what about when you have a viral infection? Obviously antibiotics. And what happens when antibiotics, the backbone of modern medicine, stops working? ये रास्ते है चलते फिरते एंटीबायोटिक लेने की आदत है बहुत गंभीर संकट पैदा कर सकती है एंटीबायोटिक्स बिकमिंग लेस इफेक्टिव ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस हु कैन एक्चुअली मीन टेकिंग अस बैक मेनी मेनी इयर्स ओके लेट्स बैक ट्रैक अ बिट इन 1928 अ मैन नेम्ड अलेक्जेंडर फ्लेमिंग डिस्कवर्ड पेनिसिलिन द फर्स्ट एंटीबायोटिक दिस प्रीटी मच चेंज द कोर्स ऑफ हेल्थ केयर Antibiotics are basically medicines that help destroy or slow the growth of harmful bacteria. Yes, bacteria. But let's put a pin on that for some time. Pathogens like bacteria grow stronger by developing resistance to the drugs that are used to treat them. And infections that could be easily treated like UTI, E. coli and staph infections become untreatable. This is called antimicrobial resistance. Now, AR isn't a new phenomenon. This is what happened to penicillin as well. Remember the first antibiotics? Cases of penicillin resistance started being noted just 20 years after its discovery. What's concerning though is that since then the problem has grown exponentially. A report by the University of Oxford, the first of its kind, found that 1.2 million deaths in 2019 were directly linked to AMR. That's more deaths than HIV and malaria put together. Experts warn that we are already staring at another pandemic that's brewing right under our noses. To get to the bottom of what is driving this crisis of drug resistance and where it's likely to lead us, I'm here at Delhi's Holy Family Hospital to speak to Dr. Sumit Ray. I'm an intensivist, so I take care of critically ill patients in the ICU. And in these patients, we do see a lot of patients with antimicrobial resistance, and it's a big worry. And it is my administrative role. I look at the infection control practices, the antimicrobial stewardship, as we call it, to try to reduce antimicrobial resistance at the local level. That means at the hospital level. Uh, it is uh, unfortunately extremely common. Uh, even one of our studies showed, uh, done previously, that. Almost 60% of the patients who are coming with E. coli infections, Klebsiella infections from the community, these are two major bacterial infections, have uh, antimicrobial resistance to third generation antibiotics. What is happening is because of that, we are having to use antibiotics which were considered very toxic earlier, which have been developed long back, but had been stopped, we had stopped using it. Uh, because they were so toxic and it has to be reintroduced because there is resistant to uh, the usual antibiotics that are supposed to be used in uh, community acquired infections so the more antibiotic of a certain kind we use the potential for bacteria to develop resistance increases so the reason for why we have so much antimicrobial resistance is actually multifactorial at multiple levels of problem we have very easy access to antibiotics in this country over the counter we get any antibiotic we want in this country even restricted antibiotics which in hospitals if a doctor prescribes there is a restriction on them they have to explain why they are using this antibiotics even these antibiotics can be bought over the counter in this country prescription practices of doctors a very high percentage of antibiotic prescription even for the mildest of infections cough cold etc which are usually viral infections or even many of the diarrheas that we get are viral infections their antibiotics don't work they are only to be used in bacterial infections the tendency is to prescribe multiple drugs so at least something will work kind of attitude which is in a sense very unscientific improper and that leads to very high antibiotic prescription even when the person comes to a hospital for an infection many of the smaller hospitals don't have microbiology departments or don't have adequate microbiology departments so they don't have data that what is the bacteria which is causing the infection what is its resistance pattern what antibiotic should be appropriate for this so we are shooting in the dark so tackling antibiotic resistance is going to need a lot of systemic multi level changes but as a consumer you can break up the superbug party take antibiotics only if you need them take them exactly as prescribed 
and ask your doctors to explain your prescriptions and what each drug is meant for. Use antibiotics right to keep them working.